Question number one of this exercise says that the following number of goals were scored by a team in a series of 10 matches. So these are the scores. What we have to do is to find the mean, median and mode of these scores. We will start by finding the mean for which the formula is sum of observations divided by the number of observations. Sum of observations can be found by adding up the scores and then we will have to divide it by 10 as the number of matches that were played were 10. We get the sum of scores to be 28 and that on division by 10 gives us the answer 2.8 which is the mean of the given scores. The next part is to find the median. To find the median we will have to arrange these scores either in ascending or in descending order. By ascending order we mean that we start from the lowest score and go on to the highest score and by descending order we mean that we start from the highest score and go on to the lowest score. So we write the given set of scores in ascending order and the order that we get is this. The next step is to write the formula by which we will be finding the median. Now There are two formulas that we use depending upon the number of observations being either even or odd. So as in this case the number of observations is 10 which is an even number we will be using this formula wherein n represents the number of observations which is 10. So we substitute and we write 10 by 2 the term plus 10 by 2 plus 1th term and divide that by 2. So we get that as the 5th term plus 6th term divided by 2. The values of 5th and the 6th term can be seen as 3 and 3 from the arranged data. So let's substitute that and so we write 3 plus 3 divided by 2 which equals 3. So this is the median for the given set of scores. Now let's find the mode for these scores. Now mode for any given set of data is the observation which is occurring the most or the maximum number of times. So as we can see in this case 3 is the observation which is occurring the most that is occurring four times the mode for these scores is three so this is how we solve this question to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers